Thursday, September the 16th. I'm happy Kun Tun Satit that you're not wearing black today. Almost black, yeah. Yes, <laughs> uh, and to try to avoid wearing black from now until political crisis is over. At least until uh, Sunday, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, because the story about the men in black trying to assassinate the prime minister seemed to have uh, gaining momentum. Yeah, uh, today. I'm not too sure who started this rumor, but it seems to have gathered storm in the past few days. Yes, um, uh, September 19th is only uh, three days away, so something needs to be in the news. Uh -huh. And this time it's the MIB. Uh -huh. It all started with the uh, po uh, Bangkok police chief, yes. uh, Santan mm. uh, Chayanon, who said yesterday that uh, he has heard something about uh, assassins mm -hmm. trained in Cambodia yes. now mm -hmm. getting ready to mm -hmm. strike mm -hmm. over, the, over the next few days. So mm -hmm. we, it, it start with him and then today uh, the government reacted today. Mm -hmm. uh, the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister Sutep mm -hmm. and um, the government spokesman Kun Panitan also mm -hmm. uh, said something about it. So it's all in the news. But the Prime Minister says he's not scared. I don't know whether you believe he, this. He was story. laughing. He was laughing. Yes. And, and he said, okay, I, I have been hearing this for uh, several months now. But uh, actually, this, this uh, story about men in black uh, stationing around the Prime Minister residence have been in the news for, for many months. Yep. Uh, actually, during the leisure protest. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kun Santan himself said the same thing uh, mm -hmm. during April and May uh, crisis. But what he said yesterday, it's a uh, spark. Mm -hmm. the, the but consultations about the deputy prime minister seems to be saying that he doesn't believe the story. In fact, he blames some of the Democrat MPs for spreading this rumor that could create public panic. He said. Yes, the government, on one hand, it cannot uh, discredit its own people. <laughs> uh, the, the Bangkok police chief, for instance. Yep. And, uh, but it, it had to play along with mm -hmm. this, but uh, it's not sure whether they, we, we were talking about uh, different groups of government spies <laughs> being stationed in, <laughs> in the condos around the Prime Minister. Uh, you mean home. that is that theory that the so-called uh, assassins or men in black uh, could be the government's own spies who don't know one another and then uh, mm -hmm. suspecting that these strange looking people going up to con a condo and renting rooms uh, probably are not real assassins but they are just you know people from a different uh, intelligence department that could be uh, <laughs> actually uh, could take himself he said uh, we heard about this before and then when we sent our own people yep. to investigate. Yep. The men in black moved out of the condo, wow. but that was in the past. Uh -huh. So it could be that uh, with the people moving in and out <laughs> of the condo, it, 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 it could create certain uh, certain kind of impression about um, suspicious activities. But the police chief, the Metropolitan Police Chief, who said that there were the men in black were moving around, mm -hmm. getting to the condo, and also related to the May event, which that would mean that they know the identities of these suspected uh, assassins, right? Mm -hmm. If they know their identities, why are they still at large? Um, I mean, Kun Sutep himself uh, talked about this issue, particular mm -hmm. issue. He said that we know that uh, registered people are residents mm -hmm. of a certain uh, condominium units, but they could get they could just be red shirt, innocent red shirt people. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. that, mm -hmm. that's nothing the government can do about it because mm -hmm. uh, they're just uh, innocent uh, citizens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Kutsutep himself t tend to uh, play along but not uh, give much credit mm -hmm. to, to, to the story. Well, I must admit I'm very confused because the word men in black may mean that they don't wear black at all. <laughs> You see, so how do I if know? If you are an assassin and you wear, and you wear black um, <laughs> uh, every day, that, that could be, I don't know. Um, uh -huh. So the men in black now means anyone who tries to assassinate the prime minister. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to wear black. You, you can wear anything. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, that is why the confusion starts, because uh, if these one say, oh, men in black, then you have to look for people who are wearing black uh, uniforms or shirts or whatever, then you know, you're missing the point. Mm -hmm. But then if you, know, you see a suspicious looking man around the prime minister's house, then uh, I think that would start another round of rumor. Yes. Mm -hmm. So from now until September the 19th, 19th, the fourth anniversary of the coup, you will continue to hear a lot of stories of this type and uh, always take it with a grain of salt.